Jamie Starr with the New World News Network on this uh, video. This I'm calling Does Money Grow on Trees? And it's known that the average American spends about $151 a year on groceries. One of the ways to cut down on that is to grow your own food. So here we see clips of my little makeshift garden. Here's an old dog crate over on this side that I have green beans growing in because they grow up the sides of it. You see my Brussels sprouts inside the top to an old grill. I'm growing carrots. Like I said, spending $151 a week on groceries, the top 10%. Uh, 10% spends up to $300. Here we see an old container that I have turned into a um, thing for my spinach. Again, this is all stuff I had lying around the house that I just kind of plopped together. More green beans growing up that trellis thing. You see I've used tires. There's some squash on the other side of this. I have more squash that's doing better because it gets more sun. Um, basically, this is a necessary thing in order for us to realize I've pepper started in these two tires. Sorry, I'm interrupting my thoughts to narrate this. Tomatoes growing over there. This is all filled with spinach, kale, uh, lettuce, more Brussels sprouts over here. There you see the other uh, squash growing, summer squash, my tomato plant. And, I mean, from this, I end up with far more food than I could ever eat before it all goes bad. By the end of last season, I had a full brown paper bag of tomatoes. I was having to give most of it away to the restaurant I work at in order for it to get used. And this is one of the problems we face. Typical leftists see the world as a pizza pie, and there aren't enough slices to go around, so we need to cut everyone's slices super small so that everyone can get a little bit. When in reality, we live in a world of abundance. There's so much dirt. Every time you eat something like this celery I have started here was cut from the bottom of a full thing of celery. You can regrow things. Every time I eat a tomato or a cucumber, I'll scrape the seeds out and just run them out to my backyard and toss them in one of these planters. Like I said, the celery there was started. Um, I have done lettuce from old bottoms of lettuce you just sit it in some water for a while here you see my spinach which i've already been picking and eating thus far this season so again all this is stuff i just had kind of lying around just kind of plopped it all together different old containers that you know i'd had around the house this container used to be used to hold dog food in now it grows my spinach the old top from a grill now using my carrots so that way i don't have too much digging when i finally take them up at the end of the season the only tricks are you know keeping little animals out of it which i have bars of a uh, irish spring soap laying around the animals really don't like irish spring soap so that along with any time i cut my hair i'll throw my old hair out there it makes them think they're around here we have by the gate I have my blueberries over here on the right. All of this mess in here is strawberries and hula berries. There you see the blueberries starting to grow. Strawberries and hula berries. Hula berries are a white strawberry that tastes like pineapple. Although I have been having something eating the hula berries. You can see I'll pull out one of them to show. I have been having something eating these. Little white strawberries, how cute. Something's been eating these. I have to figure that out and get them out of there. But I mean, realistically, that's the hardest problem you have, keeping bugs and little critters out of them. There's no reason anyone with a bit of yard isn't doing this. Here you see in this old tire, I have my cilantro growing. Cilantro's been doing really well this year. On the other side, that's also my giant raspberry plant over there. We have basil, dill, cilantro. So again, anytime I'm cooking, I could just walk outside, pick a few leaves of it, and voila. And it's very minimal maintenance. There you see the raspberry plant again growing through the fence. Up here, that's my avocado tree that has been started. Started from the old pit of an avocado. We have some shard growing in one of these. A uh, big container of kale right there in front of you in the terracotta pot. I have mint growing. You see the two tops of pineapples. Those you can regrow from old pineapples. Over to the far left in the big container, that's my jalapeno plant. I've had that for two years. It comes inside, stays a year. Another basil plant over there. And that's the basic of what I'm growing this year outside of my flower plants. And again, 
does money grow on trees? Well, if the average person is spending $151 on groceries and you can cut that down even a little bit, and I mean, I cut it down a lot. Again, I get so much lettuce, so many tomatoes. Produce is the most ex expensive stuff in the grocery store. So there's no reason. This all requires very minimal effort. People should grow their own food. Ideally, if I had enough resources, and I'm sure, you know, you see my trailer bed here that I plan on building my tiny house on. If I filled this up all with little planters and everything, I could be feeding the entire neighborhood. But there's no, no reason everyone doesn't have their own little stash of plants and is growing stuff for themselves. So... Does money grow on trees? Yes, it can. When you are paying so much for food prices and you can easily produce your own food, let alone produce your own food from the scraps of food you have already bought, then I think it's fair to say it does grow on trees.